Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. All right, how about some uh, bull riding terminology? Get that rope and tie it right around your hand as tight as you can because there is somebody here that is really going to rock the world here in Des Moines, oh, Dixie yeah. Longgate. I am so happy to see you again. Thank you so much for bringing me back. And he's so stinking sweet. Every time I'm in town, he's like, what are you doing? I was like, you know, I'm drinking. He's like, come on back. So I'm back again. That Lord. is awesome. Honey, you know I adore you. How's everything? We're doing well yourself. I am very good, except it's cold. I come here and I thought it was going to be warm and then all of a sudden it's cold and I was walking outside last night and I'm being struck in the face but well <laughs> I got but also <laughs> mostly because of this it started snowing a little bit and snow mixed with wind coming at your face mm -hmm. it's, not, it's a recipe for disasters <laughs> like so right. it went nine degrees this morning so uh, yeah, yeah that's not even of the Lord <laughs> and so, but it's getting warmer tomorrow which is good so we're finally getting here and it's good because I'm gonna be here for a couple of weeks so yes I'm gonna be here when it's warm <laughs> Tell everybody what, uh, where are you going to be at and how long? I am, well, for those of you who don't know, which is sad, I'm Dixie Longgate, and I've got a show at the Temple Theater mm -hmm. uh, running through March uh, 17th. And it's called Never Wear a Tube Top While Riding a Mechanical Bull and 16 Other Things I Learned While I Was Drinking Last Thursday. It's just something <laughs> simple that rolls off the tongue. Very yeah. easy to remember. Very easy to remember. See, and uh, watch this. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. It moves up and down. I could do this for the rest of my life. Um, now, tell everybody about your show. It is one of the most fun shows, seriously, that you're going to be able to see. You are stinking sweet. Mm -hmm. I adore you. So, I have a show called Dixie Tepper Party that actually opened in Des Moines on the on the tour. So, it started here in 2008. Wow. I've been all over the world with it. And so, this is my follow-up show. And I've been here with it once before. But it's a follow-up show, but it's completely different than the Tupperware Party. It all takes place inside of my best friend's honky-tonk when we get drunk and we write down ideas for her party that she, cause she's got married right against my better judgments <laughs> she gets married and so I'm in the honky tonk the night after her wedding reception and she's off and then everybody's in there and I'm trying to keep them all comfortable during a storm that's blown out the power and so I start reading back all the stuff that we had wrote to kind of create the party and when you get drunker you get smarter and you write of course you do. Yeah. And so we sat down and we solved all the world's problems so I'm just sitting there sharing it with everybody and my mama gave me a piece of advice a long time ago she goes everything you ever need to know in life you can learn by writing a mechanical bowl. 100% true story. Really? Yes. Okay. And so what I do is I take all the lessons of bowl riding, like you were talking about, we'll do, right. and then I apply them to your life. So it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of an empowerment message, a little bit of an adventure message, a little bit of go out, take on the world, and do something fun to challenge yourself, because everybody needs good adventures in this world, especially mm -hmm. we figured out after the pandemic, like life is so short, you want to go out and have fun and do something that challenges you a little bit and live your life to the fullest extent. So that's what the show is about. It, it really does make you feel good when you go to the show and that's what it is all about isn't it i always want to lift people up that's my goal and i yeah i bring some people up to play with me and everything and I interact with the audience because i always want to lift everybody up you know they say rise and tide lifts all boats so mm -hmm. if you've ever been in a boat and then you're like oh the tide's rising and then you're like <laughs> sailing places you shouldn't be <laughs> and then or like in sometimes when there's a storm near my trailer and then i'm like oh look free boat it is really cool now you're, you're she's fresh off of a vegas tour i did yeah. I yeah, how cool Vegas. Was that? Oh, it's so much fun. I love Vegas. It was my fourth time in Vegas. Actually. Wow. I keep running, running in. <laughs> and I got, oh, my single favorite thing, and I put this on my social media. I was leaving Vegas, um, and then uh, there was a slot machine in the, in the airport because there's slot machines everywhere. You go to the bathroom, there's, there's a slot, slot machine. machine. It's crazy. And I was like, okay. And so I put some money, I put $40 in. I won $647 literally seconds before I got on my plane. That's I the said, way to I, do it. <laughs> that was so fun. And so, um, yeah, so I mean, it's fun. So I, I'm going all over the place. I'm still on the road. Actually, and then in May, I open at the Kennedy Center for no a way. month. Isn't that crazy? Oh, that is awesome. They're opening their door to me. Sometimes people make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Just take advantage of um, it. Yeah. Yeah. Take advantage of it. Oh, I'm <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, but it's good. It's been back around, this is the 16th year for me on the road, which wow. is crazy. My little kids are probably growing up, and I'm, the, I'm missing. <laughs> some parents are like, I can't wait to see my child. Up. I just can't wait for him to get out of the trailer. He's been there too damn long. All right. So let's let people know when you're going to be there, the days of the week that you're going to be there. I'm going to be there every day but Monday. Monday's okay. the day off. I put my hair in rollies and everything. But I'm 
Tuesday through Sunday, okay. every day. Uh, you can go to dmpa.org, get all the ticket showtime information. I'm right there at the Temple Theater, right above Chantro, that delicious restaurant. Oh, that is great, Amazing oh, yes. soups. I love you. <laughs> that is soup is my favorite soup in the world. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm going to be there now. We opened last night, and I'm there till the, the 17th of March, so three whole weeks. Yeah, and how long is the show, typically, so show's people know? about 90 minutes. All right. So it's uh, plenty of time to call your babysitter and say, I'm not coming home because I'm having so much fun on the bowl. You're going to have to take care of my child. <laughs> And do whatever you want to with that child because I have no time. That child is in my business. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to miss this all from now until St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's yeah. Day. Yeah. It's yeah. the day that we celebrate uh, the Patrick's, the Saint of Patrick's. <laughs> <laughs> Dixie Longgate in Des Moines. You do not want to miss it. DMPA.org to get your tickets. Thank you, Dixie, so Thank much. You, Thank you, my angel. Oh, I just adore you, Mr. Mm -hmm. He makes me smile.